Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to do another weekly Wix and Wax video. Life's been busy. Same disclaimer I do all the time. It's so hard to keep a schedule with these because I am so busy, but I decided it's time. I have a few hours in the morning before my day kicks off, so I am going to dive into my bin of empties. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with the candles, I have from my friend's company, 1820 House, Freshwater Sea. This is part of her Rust Belt collection. This is my favorite one. It was a two wick, big open jar. Never ever have an issue with the burn, never have an issue with the throw. This is a beautiful, slightly sweet aquatic fragrance. I was burning this in my bedroom on and off. Her candles. I do not like start one and finish it and then move on to the next one. These ones I burn a couple days, put it away and really savor and enjoy them because I don't have a ton of them and I could get them. There's like local boutiques around here that sell them, but I like going to her store in Ohio to pick them up. So if you're in East Palestine or online, 1820house.com, I love Melissa's candles. I highly, highly recommend or cashmere and freshwater sea. They're my favorite. All right, next I finished from Otherland. Um, I gave this company a second try and I'm just not a fan. Look at the burn on this too. Can we take a look? It is horrible. Like the soot, no throw, it tunneled. And I think it's very interesting that they use their marketing on their Instagram of like ever like half their ads are problematic candles and it's always using their candles and it's just like well I'm glad you're embracing that your candles are not good candles and they don't perform but why are you advertising that and they'll have like a video where it shows a candle like tunneling and they'll blow it out then they'll take the end of a wick wick clip a wick trimmer, and they'll like cut through the wax. And to me, that's just, doesn't really look good for your company. And especially whenever somebody gets a candle and they don't perform. And I've heard this from multiple people who have purchased their candles. It's not just me. They're just not good candles. So they pay for the advertising that makes them look good and aesthetic, but they're not. Next, I finished a candle from Melon and Getz. I love Melon and Getz candles, and this is in Tomato. And Tomato is really having a moment in luxury candles. Super exciting. It's just such a different form of fresh. If you think like a kitchen candle should be like lemon or citrus or sometimes even basil if you want to go a different route, but a tomato candle in the kitchen is so good. It's so fresh. It's so crisp. You get the vine of the tomato. You even get a little bit of the dirt from like the ground of the tomato plant. Really great, really great performer. I actually clean these jars up and use these as drinking glasses, like orange juice in the morning. I really, really love these glasses. If you drink cocktail glasses, however you want, but I really like these. So I actually have three empty candles. <clears throat> Then I turned into jars, so now I have a set of four. So really enjoy the Melanie Getz candles. And now the rest are Bath and Body Works. Did I talk about this in the last video? I can't remember. This is Fig from Henry Bendel. Henry Bendel is no longer in business, but they were part of the L Brands Tower. And certain Bath and Body Works stores... Did I get this? I got this at Easton Town Center, I believe. They have test candles of Henry Bendel Bath and Body Works candles. And this is in their fig. And I mean, it has a Bath and Body Works label on the bottom, but it does have a like thicker gold lid that says Henry Bendel, New York. And their fig candle is so good. It's such a ripe, juicy fig with a hint of like a warm smoke. It's juicy fig, candy jasmine, and spicy anise. It is so good. It burned all the way down. 
Great performance. I did strictly have this in my bedroom because I just love the scent of fig in my bedroom. Love fig all the way. Then I finished a single wick in their signature single wicks in Mahogany Teakwood. Honestly, I still don't get the best performance from the single wicks. They, you know, give a lot of residue. This is rich mahogany, <clears throat> dark oak, and frosted lavender. I feel like everybody's familiar with mahogany teakwood. It just smells like, like Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. But I feel like it had a moment for a while. The moment's kind of over. I feel like I don't see a ton of people talking about mahogany teakwood or purchasing it. So I'm not sure. I did this in my bathroom. It was nice. And now on to uh, some three wicks. I finished Laundry Day. I love Laundry Day. It's a classic. Fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, and soft lavender. It is a very soft, calming laundry detergent, but still a very strong scent. I think now that I've repurchased and love crisp linen or cozy linen and nectarine, that's my favorite laundry scent Bath & Body Works has made. I really, really like the cozy linen and nectarine. I finished Hinoki Wood and Lavender. This guy, calming Hinoki Wood, fresh lavender, and a hint of coconut. I don't really get coconut. I definitely get like a very light wood. Like if you smelled this, you would think like the lightest wash of wood with like fresh lavender sprigs. So good. The only thing with this one, it was like flamethrowers after two hours. Like I could trim these wicks super short, light it. Two hours later, like the flames were massive. So it took forever to get through this candle because you could only burn it for like two or three hours before the flames were massive and sooting like crazy. But otherwise, I do really like this scent. I would really enjoy it in like an entryway in a wallflower. I finished Open Sky. This is an older three-wick from when the Body Care launched. Now, this is so interesting to me. When they do body care launches, the candles are always super fun and colorful. I don't know why they went this direction with Open Sky. It is like a silver label with cutout holes for the light. Open Sky is rough for me. Fresh air, wild blackberries, soft violet, and a cloud of comforting vanilla. I don't know what it is about it. It's fine. I have a moisturizing body wash in my rotation to use next, and I'm just like, ah, but I need to use it up. I don't just want it to sit there. It's okay. It's just not my favorite scent. And I had it lit in here because I just didn't want it to, like, fill up a room and necessarily super smell it. And as I walked by, I got whiffs of it, but it was not a repurchase. And then last but not least, Palo Santo and Vanilla. Dare I say that I like this better than plain Palo Santo for Bath & Body Works? Because that's like in my top 10. Possibly. Palo Santo, Woody Musk, and Tonka Bean. Now, the burn was great up until the last couple burns. It got a little dark and murky, but it smelled so good in my bedroom. It just takes everything I love about Palo Santo, the Palo Santo candle, and it adds a very creamy vanilla. Now, it's funny. Tonka bean tends to lean a little vanilla-esque whenever you smell it. And they opted for Palo Santo vanilla versus Palo Santo tonka bean. Because it, it doesn't say there's tonka or vanilla in the notes. And I know that these three are only highlighted notes. But still, I thought that was interesting. I love this. It just takes everything I love about Palo Santo and creams it up to make it a very comforting, relaxing, really decadent, amazing candle. I love Palo Santo Vanilla. All right, let's dive into the wax. I don't have a ton. I say I don't have a ton of wax, and then I look, and there's a ton of wax. But I definitely melted through a good bit of wax this week. I'm really trying to work through my Scentsy stash because Bring Back My Bar is coming, and I'm so excited about that. I finished from Dessa's Mint Julep Bar. This was one of her, like, long breakaway bars. 
Lime juice, muddled mint leaves, and sugar crystals. I did this in my office. It was super strong for a couple days. Very strong. And the scent, though, that I got from it was definitely like a very strong mint leaf with a hint of lime. It was not my favorite scent, but it did last a good long time. I finished from Super Tarts City Mall. This is Orange Smoothie. It was definitely like the Orange Julia scent, but a very strong, cleaner note for some reason. Was not a fan. I finished from Fantasy Wax, The Mayor, a Apple Strudel Zucchini Bread. I really like this. This is one of those scents that really comes alive when you melt it. It was a very cold night, and I just wanted something really relaxing. So really enjoyed that. From Fantasy Wax, in the bathroom, I did Lady Whistle Down, which is lavender marshmallow. I popped this whole cube or this whole scent shot in my, I like have the Julianne Home hot plate warmer. I moved it into my bathroom. I'm not using the scents in the bathroom until I start working through a lot of this vendor wax. That are bathroom appropriate scents, obviously. I'm not going to melt like a pumpkin pecan waffles, blueberry pancake in my bathroom. But I'm trying to work through those. And this went three days, 24-7, really Really great. Really enjoyed the lavender marshmallow in the bathroom. Oh, blue sugar cotton candy from Candles by Victoria. I'm so upset. I put this on a hot plate warmer and I meant to, because I have like a remote turn on and I turned it on like the hour before I got ready for work and then I was gone all day for work and I forgot to turn it off. I didn't think about it until I walked home I walked home until I got home and I was like, really? Did I really leave that on? And I did. So this was on for like 12 hours and I wasn't home. So I didn't get to smell it, unfortunately. Amazing Grace. This is also from Candles by Victoria. This is a dupe for the Philosophy Lotion or Shower Gel, all of it from Philosophy. It's a very feminine pink powdery floral. I did that in my bathroom. I actually really like that. I finished A Beautiful Day, Daylight from Kringle. Ah, I can't really say I smelled this. I mainly did this for ambiance one night that I wanted a candle flame, but I was really enjoying the scent in my living room. I didn't want anything to compete at all. So I did that just for ambiance. And now let's dive into the, the Scentsy. I finished A Brick in Summer Berry Melon. This was the first to go. I feel like my mentality with the bricks is I melt through the scents I don't like first and savor the ones that I do. I don't know why, but I do. This is definitely my least favorite out of all of them. It just, it does smell like melons. It smells like cantaloupe and honeydew. And like a muddled berry, kind of like a berry syrup that you would put in like a cocktail. But it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. I finished it off in my office actually just this morning. I just switched the wax in there. But it just smells like a berry melon body care fragrance. It's not one that I would repurchase and it's not going in my club. Sticking with the office. Oh. I didn't even realize I had a bar of this, and I was like, can we please just melt this to get rid of it? Root beer float. I do not like this. I do not like root beer scents. No. It smells just like a root beer float. Like a, It smells like an A&W root beer float with vanilla ice cream. It was strong, and I just popped this in my office and let it go until, because I wasn't, I was really busy, and I wasn't home a lot, so I was like, I'm just going to melt that in there. Because I hate just throwing away a bar that I won't use, you know what I mean? So, I was like, goodbye. Did I not use two bars of this? Yes, I did. I was like, I definitely used two. I'll... There are two, but one just fell on the ground. Aloha Orchid, which is the scent of the month for May. No. This was like... Hibiscus pineapple, but mellowed down with a little bit more floral. I did not enjoy this at all. It wasn't strong. I did it in my living room, dining room, kitchen. I didn't get anything from it. 
I'm just getting through the ones I don't love. Woodland Meadow. I did two of these in here. No, this smells like an older gentleman's aftershave. Like, it's a very light watered-down cologne. And the cologne that I get is like an older gentleman's, like, aftershave cologne. I was not a fan. Next, again, I think we'll just do the ones I don't love. Chamomile petals. This is the scent of the month. This was the scent of the month, scent of the month for April. I could barely smell it. I did one bar in my bedroom. I only purchased the one bar because I did not get this in a kit because I did not think I would like it. I am saving one bar from every single month, though, so that way at the end of the year I can do, like, a ranking on what I thought, but this is not going to get a strong ranking from me. It was just not strong. Going in the living room right now is from the Mix It collection. This is a Grapefruit Orange. I really like this. It is a very nice balance of grapefruit and orange. I would like to see this fizzy, though. I feel like this is a fruity scent that should have a little bit of fizz, but it doesn't. So, and Scentsy doesn't have a fizzy scent. I would love for them to come up with a fizzy scent. I did Pineapple Rose in here. This was also scent of the month. This was January scent of the month with the Disney warmer. This is one I go back and forth and back and forth on what I think. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But if I had to pick between this and Heirloom Rose from the Disney Epcot collection for my club, Heirloom Rose gets the spot. Because I could always just mix like a pineapple scent cube to the Heirloom Rose if I wanted the pineapple. But if I didn't want the pineapple, I could just melt it on its own. It's more versatile. So, I don't know. It's not in my club. I have plenty of bars. But it was fine. Blue Agave and Melon. I'm trying to melt some scents that I've never had before. And this was also just okay. I didn't love it. Agave syrup kind of leans like sickening to me, kind of in the same way that that simple syrup from Appletini Splash leans. So I did not love that. Soft Plumeria. This was actually a really easy choice. No, it was fine. It was pleasant when I walked in the room. I did this in my office, but Plumeria petals lean to me a little metallic when they're in the warmer, like so sharp. I remember Homeworks had a scent that had Plumeria in it, and it just leaned a little metallic. It was very strange. And it was fine. Like I said, I did get that note every once in a while, but like Mintfields, no. Plumeria, no. Heirloom Rose, absolutely in my club. I just have to be more picky. Like I was watching Linda H.'s video a couple weeks ago, and she was saying the same thing, that you just have to be really, really, really careful about what you put in your club. Because your clubs can get massive, 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 massive. And with Bring Back My Bar, Scent of the Month, and that flash sale, I skipped. Well, I changed my frequency, so I did not get my quarterly club this month. I'm going to get it next month in June, because I was hoping to get it this month, but I did not. And I have got to, because I have a lot of licensed bars and a lot of one bar that I just want to try in there. And I know this Bring Back My Bar is probably going to be like five or six cents that I want to put into my club. So I have got to let that June club process. So that way, as soon as it processes, I can take those other bars out of my club, add the Bring Back My Bars that I like. So that way, when it ships June, September, there'll be the Bring Back My Bars and they're locked in. All right. This, I love Apricot Vanilla. I need to get a few more bars to 100% uh, figure if I want to secure it in my club or not. This is great. I did it in my bedroom. It's still going. It is the sweetest apricot ice cream. It is delicious. And I did this with my AC on, and it was powerful. I really liked it. It's so good. If you love apricot scents, definitely give this a try. I hear a lot of people say it was light. I just got this this year, and I popped it in, and it was great. I really, really enjoyed that. Same with... I dropped it. 
Same with this one. Vitamin U Unwind. I was really shocked. I did not think this was anything. And then I popped it in the warmer. And I got this really crisp cucumber in like a warm sandalwoody, cedar woody base. It was really pleasant. I could definitely see the vitamin collection, the wild barefoot, wild barefoot and free. That was the name of a scent, right? That wasn't the collection. Find your happy. Find your happy wax collection, the mix it collection, and the vitamin collection were when I wasn't super into Scentsy, so I didn't purchase them. And I missed out on a lot of those scents. I wish Scentsy would do, we'll talk about that when I bring back my bar video, but I'd like to see it bring back my LTO. I think that would be super fun. But yeah, I like this. This was pleasant. This, I might do a six pack and do three bars of this and three bars of apricot and vanilla so I can figure out which ones of these I really like and if either of these need to stay in my club. And then last but not least, I did a white tea and sage wallflower in my entryway. I switched that out and now my bin is empty. So super chill, super just relaxing video today. Nothing crazy. I am waiting on my Bring Back My Bar and my Sun of the Month shipments for Scentsy. I feel like they're taking a lot longer. And my flash sale just shipped too. So that's three videos. I'm hoping to just be super productive, film all three in a row, and then schedule them out throughout the week. So that way I have some content out for you guys because I'll be going to New York next week and I'm just super busy. I have a full-time job. I'm a full-time student, full-time cat dad. Like, you know, I have a place, an apartment that I have to keep clean and all that. So super busy. I feel like I haven't turned my TV on in like a week to just sit on the couch and watch TV. Um, I watch YouTube videos as I clean, as I'm in the shower doing laundry, like I have laundry going now meal prepping in the oven, and I'm like, I'm going to sit down for 20 minutes and talk to you guys, because I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't, for, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube, making a better world, and I love you all so much. Bye, guys.